Oh, hey everyone, it's Lucas D here. So it's been a while since I've brought out a Path of Exile uh, build video and I'll just show you what I've been just working on at the moment. It's my uh, Tornado Shot crit build. So if you guys uh, want to use a, a bow um, character and uh, thinking about it, um, so this is what I have been using at the moment. Um, now, if we go up to the passive skill tree, um, we started in the shadow area and we just we, basically we're going to be uh, physical damage so we want to get all the physical damage nodes here and then we work our way up here and then we start to get a little bit of crit intelligence here uh, it's always good to get that node and then we want more uh, projectile damage, projectile speed here and more crit over here and then we'll go around here and get more uh, crit uh, it depends if you want this uh, or not uh, with the crit I've got it anyway um, then there's um, mana leech there from physical damage. Now, I don't have any mana leech on my items, so I picked up these nodes here. Um, it depends if you've got mana leech already on your items, you can skip these nodes and save four passive nodes there, which is great. Um, this is really good too, having this the 4% physical attack damage leeched as life, 0.4%. Um, and then you've just I've just come down here and I've picked up crit nodes I've also um, picked up the phase acrobatics and I've worked my way down here got more life nodes there picked up all the crit nodes there and all the bow nodes all the damage bow nodes here and um, also the um, crit uh, for the bow over there and crit over here life over here and movements attack speed over there also got the aura nodes as well and then when oh, on my bow, so I've got a five link. It's um, tornado shot with faster attacks, life leech, greater multiple projectiles, and physical projectile attack damage. Um, so that's my five link I'm using at the moment. Um, with curses and that, what I do to apply curses and my power charges, I use split arrow, and then I use curse on hit. Warlord's Mark, so it's Warlord's Mark, not Assassin's Mark. Warlord's Mark gives me Life Leech, Mana Leech, and will stun the enemies as well. And Power Charge on Critical Strike also. Um, now I've also using a lot of Cast on Damage Taken um, gems, so Cast on Damage Taken I'll have um, Molten Shell, um, Summon Chaos Golem, and Enfeeble. So um, Enfeeble is handy to have um, just so it reduces the damage. If you've taken damage already, you can get that curse on your enemies. Um, uh, summon Chaos Golems, no brainer. Always having your Golem up when you're taking damage is always good to have. Um, now I'm using the Chaos Golem at the moment. And Molten Shell, it's just in there. I've got a red socket, so I thought I'll use Molten Shell. It synergizes okay with Blood Rage um, because I use Blood Rage in this build to get that extra physical attack damage leeching life and that's always good to have and then we also got immortal core cast damage taken immortal core increased duration on these two gems here so um, warlord's mark will get the uh, endurance charges blood rage will get the frenzy charges and power charge on critical strike will get the power charges and um, and yeah so I'll show you it in action anyway um, I'm level 77 at the moment, um, so we'll just do uh, the Grand Arena. Actually, I've already done the Grand Arena. I'll, what I'll do is I'll go back in it again, and we'll, we'll, we'll start again, do a Grand Arena again. I just did a quick run then um, with Durosso, so we'll just rush it. Um, so let's see how we go. I'll go class my auras up. Okay. So I can basically stand here and I shouldn't take I shouldn't have any problems um, tanking them with this build because my life leech is just always going up very quickly um, anyway. so I've got um, Arctic Armor, Herald of Ash and Hatred up at the moment. Still got 85 mana which I can use my abilities on. Anyways, we'll rush to the next zone. Oh, 
there is no other zone in here, so what I'll do is go back down here. Okay, as you can see, the blood rages explodes. Oh, I gotta get away from that. Carving knife in hand. Okay. I killed beasts for the amusement of the filthy. At fifteen, they thought me worthy to fight a fellow man. A butcher. He There's was. still one guy left somewhere. Twice as big and twice as stupid as I. I butchered, butchered, and many like it. earned my way, killed Don't know how he got by all the way there, but out of the awful pit and into the grand arena. Into the grand arena. <laughs> I thought I would find wealth and glory in the arena. I was wrong. Yeah, let's move on to the next part. I found. Look at all these blue mobs. This is great for XP. My lady Macbeth. Okay, so we've got our power charges. Most of our charges are up at the moment. There's the other unique guy. I'm sure there's one more guy left somewhere. Okay, so we'll just do Jorosso now, see how we go. A king of swords is nothing if he cannot defend. Let's see if we don't need to use a portal. You gotta make sure those swords don't go on you, because they can take a lot of damage. Ah, uh, going back to town by accident. Just hear that armor on him. He's got a ton of armor. Low on my... oh. <laughs> and he hits from far away, man. Come on, health. Don't fail me now. Okay, so hopefully we'll have him down soon. He's going to charge up to me. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he was going to do that. Oh man. This guy hits hard. I want to finish him off, come on! Alright. <laughs> so, that's DeRosso with the build. 
Um, currently, it's not too bad, but um, I've still got to work on a few things um, with gear and that. Um, you can also choose to run without Arctic Armor or not. Depends if you like to run around a lot when you're doing the um, build. Uh, with your bow build, if you run around a lot, then yeah, I'll take Arctic Armor off. Yes. But um, if you're just stationary a lot and just a bit lazy and you want to tank a bit, or well, you shouldn't be tanking anyway, but um, seems to be okay with this Life Leech build. May fear guide you. Yeah, and um, that's pretty much it. So. Maybe we can rush down and do a quick vol with this build. I find this pretty tanky actually. Like, if I just stand here, I don't have any dramas in this area at all. It's just, like, because I've got all my endurance charges and frenzy charges up. Um, it's just, it might get a little bit hard sometimes when you're coming up against bosses, but with most builds it's always like that anyway. Um, let's have a look. So I'm currently doing 10,000 DPS with the 5 link. Um, my auras give me at least 5k DPS, so it actually doubles your damage with the auras. Okay, here's Vol, so let's see how quick we can take Vol down. Okay, so Vol's down. If you want to just farm with it, it's a pretty good build to use. It's pretty fast, the damage is quite good. Let's see if we can get all these mobs all grouped up here. The reason why I'm face tanking is because I know I can face tank because I know Mortal Core hasn't gone off and I've got the endurance charges on me so I know I can just stand there like I can just stand there right now because I've got endurance charges Anyway guys, um, that's my new build video I've been working on. So I've been working on the Tornado Shot build and uh, the Crit Tornado Shot build. It's been pretty fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, yeah, this is some a bit of a change from my um, melee cast on Crit Cyclone builds I've been working on. But um, yeah, I just thought I'll share that with you guys and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you're thinking of doing this bow build, if you've got any questions, just leave it in the comments field. And if you like the video, please leave a like um, and uh, it just help my video um, out a bit. And I know it's, um, it's not uh, the best production, but I'm trying my best to get some Path of Exile videos out just to show you what some builds are like. Um, this is the uh, Crit Tornado Shot build if you guys need to know. Okay, I'm Lucas D. Thanks for watching. See you later.